Hey everybody, Accurate here. Welcome back to the Long Dark. Custom Stalker. Season 1, episode 25. So here we are, about to head out here into Coastal Highway. And we're going to shoot our way over to the ravine and then over to Mystery Lake to home sweet home. Let's take a look at our stats here. We're well fed still. Sprain risk because we're running heavy. 49.79. So we're, yeah, we're a bit over. That's okay. Because uh, I don't, we don't have any more ropes to go up or down, so we should be fine. So this is all the gear that we got. I am looking forward. I would really like to get a moose um, or a bear. I'd prefer to get a moose because I can actually eat that meat right away. As soon as we get back to uh, Mystery Lake near the uh, Trapper Homestead, that would be sort of ideal. But uh, let's see if we can head up here. I might... Since we're here, I might check out the van or the not the van lookout, but the lookout up here. Sometimes there's some good stuff there. I figure since we're here, we might as well. We'll come back here and hit this area, head over to Desolation Point eventually, anyway. But this will be one less place we have to look. So I think we're gonna check this out. Plus, it'll give us a chance to warm up a little bit. Sometimes there is a patrol wolf right through here, so we need to be a little bit careful. I'm ready for him though. I got 89 problems and a wolf ain't one. Having hunger problems, I feel bad for you, son. Let's see if he's here. I don't think he's here. Doesn't look like it. But he can be sneaky sometimes, so we'll be extra careful. It does say I have a sprain wrist, but risk a sprain wrist, a sprain risk. But uh, I've turned off sprains in the uh, at the start of this series, so just ignore that. Trying to stay up here high where I can see a little bit better. Every little fraction of a second counts when these guys try to ambush you. So I think we're good. I think I think we're pretty good. It's it's morning, so it's still a little bit cool outside. I'm gonna cut through this way, I think. Pretty sure I can cut through this way. I've done it before. A while back. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can. There we go. Back and forth. Let me up. There we go. Just to get a peek up here, see what's going on. All right, good old coastal highway. Such a good place to survive. All right, well, I hear some howling way off in the distance behind me, but I don't think it's the one that we're worried about here. So, nope. Holy cow. Uh, the howling was not what I was worried about, but uh, I did drill him twice. Good. That first one should have dropped him. That felt like a good moose shot to me, but uh, who knows. Well, grab some more ammo. He should he should die pretty quick. I got the old Texas bullseye on him as well with that second shot. So I'm going to be prepared in case he resets and still has a little bit of fight left in him. But uh, I'm kind of glad I was ready for that. I was... I didn't have any warning, no audio cues or anything there, but hey, that's a good way to get the blood flowing at the start of an episode, I'll tell you that much. So I just got home from work, came home about two hours early, 10 hour shift rather than a 12. I have to go to court on Thursday for a prelim hearing, no big deal. But uh, I decided I'd go ahead and uh, flex those two hours rather than take them in overtime and, and uh, get home and do some recording for you guys, so. All right, let's see here. Here we are. There's the lookout. Wolf's probably dying somewhere nearby, hopefully. I think he was just as surprised to see me as I was to see him. But uh, he probably wasn't expecting my hand to uh, explode into his face with a wave of pain like that, though. I can put this away now, I think. Just be an extra, extra cautious. Some birds flying around over there. Some sort of a dead carcass or something down there. But let's check out Abandoned Lookout. Let's see what we got. Eh, 
And here we are. All right, we got ourselves a cooking book. That's that's worth the trip right there. That's worth the two. That's worth the two pieces of ammo right there. I'm gonna leave that behind. I'm gonna take that though. Yeah, more wood matches. We'll add that to the pile. Little note here. You guys want to read that from backer 67 or 4783? I guess we'll take it. Doesn't weigh anything, so might as well. Okay. Well, oh, we got some. Hey, look at that. <laughs> we got our rounds back, so we're back. Back to 89 problems, and a wolf ain't one. A bleeding wolf ain't one. No rifle here today. What about back here? Anything back here? No. Nope. Okay. All right, let's head on out. I'm feeling pretty good today, guys. I'm. You know what though? I do have a cold right now. That's surprising, but I feel I feel really good. The next couple days off. Looking forward to spending some time with the with the girls. So. They're seven and eight now, so, or I'm sorry, seven and five now. You know what? Let's let's just drop this here. Might as well. We got that. We got that rope up here. We might as well just drop it right there in case we ever want to climb back up here for some reason. Might. Who knows? Maybe a wolf or a bear will be chasing us, and we'll just shimmy right up that rope and on to safety here. It might save our lives sometimes. So let's just go ahead and drop. Oh, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be talking at all. <laughs> You're. I mean, I know it sounds like you're in pain, but which you should be, but uh, you shouldn't be talking at all. All right, this is probably gonna make us a little bit heavy. Yeah, we can't run, but uh, so if we get challenged before we get this deployed by the reckless wolf here, there he is. Oh, look at him. Yeah, he's limping. Look at that front paw. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. He was holding his front paw up in the air. I'm 99% sure I did not hit him in the paw. Hit him in the face, but hey, just because you're hitting the head doesn't mean you're out of the fight. Like they teach us in the academy and through all our survival training, it's uh, as long as as long as you're still thinking about the fight, you're in the fight. <laughs> the fight will tell you when it's done <laughs> with you. It will, uh, you will go black. You won't have a choice in it. You will black out, and that will be it. So. All right, there we go. A couple ropes to get down, and then you're basically down to... Oh, he just died. I think I just heard him die. Do you hear that? Oh, oh, that was him dying. I do I do sound effects as well. So, All right, let's head on over here. We're starting to get a little hungry. I'm going to go ahead and eat something. A little celebratory snack. I hear you. I hear you. I'm on it. Let's do some of these. I don't think I'm going to get food poisoned from freaking saltines, but... All right, let me take take a look here. Yeah, still doing okay. Let's ha Let's have another thing of saltines. And then I'll have a big old drink of water. Either that or he's or he's really smart and he's tricking me into coming over there. So. Let's see what it is. Negative 7 degrees. That's not too bad. I'm still going to be ready. I'm ready for the fight. In case I need to bring another. Uh, you know what? Let's go high. Let's go high ground here. See if we can peek around. Down on this little road or path or whatever it is. Down there and see if we can figure out where he's at. Make just to make sure he's dead. Because if he wants to come at us and we're up here, should make make it a little bit more difficult. And it'll give us a little bit of time. Really loving how much you guys are enjoying the series here. Wish you guys would like my other series as much. I'm sad. I just don't watch them as much. Like Hitman and all those other ones. Some people still do. I just can't play the long dark all the time, you know what I mean? He's down here somewhere. I heard him die. Just not sure where he healed over at. He might have died right in here. There he is. Right there. Out of that or he's sleeping. I have had bears sleep on me before. You guys know that much. Let's shoot down here. See what he looks like. I might pull the pelt off of him. And then go uh, warm up. Up in the, uh, yeah, he's done. He's done. Wow, that's tough to find. Now, just imagine, oh, can I even get to him? I can't even get to him. Oh, that's not good. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's better. I was going to say, that's really bad, man. You can't do that in a game. 36 minutes, let's do that. And, yeah, let's just do that. I'm gonna be. Oh, I'm, I thought I was gonna be freezing there a minute, but now I'm actually warming up. 
So I'm going to go ahead and take the guts and I'm going to put them up in the uh, lookout. I don't know if they'll cure or not, but you know what? I think I'm gonna, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these guts and I'm going to put them in the cave because we're going to be walking right past there anyway. But uh, yeah, I can't run. So luckily I'm just slightly stinky. Not doubly stinky or triply stinky. I'm just single stinky. So if I have to... Oops, that's the wrong button. Good thing I practiced. There we go. Drop those two. And that'll be it. And then I'll be able to buy myself a little bit of time. So a 3-3 three, three, and, and then a 2 to bring out the old, uh, the old side iron there. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys, uh, if you're up here in the northern hemisphere, you guys are making it through the winter all right. We're doing good here. It's uh, down in the teens right now, so Fahrenheit, I should say. I know, my game's in Celsius. I'm in Fahrenheit. So it was like uh, 20 degrees down to like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. We had a few inches of snow last night. Got to use my snowblower for the second time. My new snowblower. So that was nice. Cleared off the driveway in about 20 minutes. It was uh, really, really nice. Threw down some... Threw down a little bit of salt. Oh, son of a gun. Let's see if I can buy some time here. Where did you come from, puppy? Where did you come from, huh? Okay. Okay. Let's see what you got there. You gonna eat? You gonna eat? I'm gonna get low. Till the whistle blows. Eat. Oh. Nope, didn't take the bait. Didn't take the bait, but now you're going to die too. Yep, that looks like an organ hit. <laughs> so, I'm not sure where he was at. That was probably the one we heard howling behind us. And I said that wasn't the one that we were worried about. That uh, carrying these this fresh stuff around is always dangerous. I do not like doing it. No, he's still running. Look at him go, man. He's quick. Should be a should be a whiteout for sure. All right, I'm gonna get up here a little bit if I can. If it'll let me. There we go. Put a barrier between me and him. He did. He just passed right by uh, right by the decoys, didn't he? That didn't work at all. Yeah, decoys suck. You guys who love using decoys, man, more power to you because I can't stand it. You just bring all the boys to the yard. And apparently they don't always stop for the decoys anymore. It used to be like 100% guaranteed. You could stop them, they'd stop, and they'd sit there and eat them, and they'd stay still, and you could line up a perfect shot for about five minutes, and then you pull the trigger, and they'd just like keel over, and you're like, look, I got more decoy decoys. So he ran over this way. I don't, I didn't know where he went after that. So he might be down here around this cave, and he might have reset, so. Still one bullet ahead at least. Well, no, I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm even. I'm breaking even. All right. Be ready. Be ready. Check deep into those corners, folks. All right. So we're going to drop these right here. Because if I come back through this area, I'll find these uh, fresh guts right here if I leave them. I always try to leave stuff where I'll walk through again. If I, if I do come this way, I will definitely see it. So what I'll do is I'll just leave them like right here. Actually, you know what? I can just do this. There. That's easy. So it's curing. And then I'll probably do the same thing with the, uh, the old wolf pelt as well. Let's see. How do I want to do this? I got a couple wolf pelts. I don't know if I really want to. Can I run? I don't think I can at 50. I think I, I'm just a little too heavy. Let me see if I can drink my way out of this little issue of not being able to run. Yeah, I wasn't able to a second ago. Yeah, I still can't run. Okay, so. Rolling heavy. What do I want to drop? Don't want to really drop that. I got lots of sewing kits. That's good to have. Um, we're almost ready to start going and reloading. Well, really, I mean, this is at 75%. That's good. I'll let it get down to about 50 before I decide to go down there. Because then we'll do a full repair, repair on this. Which I think you can do. And then when, by that time... If we get down to 50, we're going to have a good couple dozen rounds of ammo to reload. So that's the plan. We'll probably wait till about then. Got a lot of reading material. 
All right, let's see here. These are cured, 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 cured. Uh, cured, cured. I got a fresh one here. That's cured, and that one's fresh. But the question is, let's see here. I got this. If I make a wolf coat, that would be kind of cool. Let's see how much I need for that. Do I need two or three or four? How many do I need? I can't remember just all these numbers because they've got so many. Used to be easy to keep it, keep track of. Uh, skin coat. How am I missing? Oh, there it is. Very bottom. I need four. So I'm going to keep those because I'm going to need those. I'm pretty sure I have one or two back at the cabin anyway. The camp office. And it doesn't, it doesn't throw off any stink. So we're okay. Yeah, no stink. And we'll leave those guts there. Am I carrying around all that coal? Let me see. I'm not carrying around all that coal, am I? From the last episode, I can't remember. No, we got no, nothing like that. So we warmed up quite a bit, just going inside of there. And we're off again. Let's go. It's, man, what a beautiful day this is. Now we need to be careful. There might be an injured wolf. Sort of acting a little unpredictable right here, because that's the way I want to go. I am a... Sort of taking a more of a more of an aggressive approach, I think, from this point on in this series. Got lots of ammo. I'm set up pretty well. I'll be able to get a bow and arrow. I, I, things get in my way. I'm just going to sort of go through them. I'm to that point now where I'm not too worried about resources and things like that. So I'm going to try to play a little more aggressive. See how that goes. We'll see. I would like to uh, go down here and loot all these places, but honestly, I can't carry anymore. You know, I'm to the point where I just can't. There might be a wolf laying down here too somewhere. I wish I could see his tracks because I'm pretty sure he came through this way. But uh, I don't know. I feel like his tracks are probably gone. We'll shoot in here, see what's going on with this little uh, trailer. See if anybody left us any goodies. Nothing behind it? No. Sometimes you get real lucky with that one. It's definitely worth looking. Take a peek around here. I think we're probably safe from that wolf. I don't think he came any further away than that. Um, let's just go ahead and eat this thing. If it's decent, yeah, let's just do that. I have a nasty habit of just picking things up and throwing them. Something's down here. What is this? What is that? Oh, is that an MRE? Can I even see it? It's a summit soda you can barely see. Let's drink it up. There we go. Cause I, can, I just can't afford to be picking up any more things. Um, let's harvest this. I'm going to harvest those before we leave. We can do that. Oh, we're already warm. Never mind. I was thinking we needed to maybe buy a little time to warm up, but it's actually pretty decent outside. We don't need another bandage. Fleece mittens. I'll leave those. Another can opener. I think we're good unless this was in better condition. Mm, maybe. Let me check. Let's see which one's in better condition here. Mm. Was it tools? Probably. Do I have one? Yeah, 32. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll uh, trade up on that one. A pillow. And I'm not seeing any sneaky MREs or sneaky bullets anywhere, so I think we're all right. Wait, what's on top here? There's something on top. Hold on, what is this? Nope, it's just a back. There's the bed post on the back there. Playing tricks with my ass. Okay, Um, let's tear up that glove. Might as well. Harvest that up. One less thing to do when we need it. There we go. Cured leather. Are we carrying anything extra? I don't think so. Just the crampons, but we're not going to leave those behind unless we go, you know, bear hunting around Mystery Lake. Something like that. We probably won't need to carry those. All right, I'm going to pull out the pistol just in case. 
our old uh, friend is lurking about. Alright, let me do another reload here. Well, let me get look at it. There we go. I feel like I'm going the wrong way. I feel like this is not the right way down. Maybe it is. There's the switchbacks. I feel like I'm getting too low. Yeah, I'm way too low. That's okay. We have another way we can go. It's pretty safe anyway. So we can just go straight out onto the ice. And that's a pretty safe route, honestly. We won't check that top trailer. I think we checked the top trailer in the very first episode. We got two wolves, one right there, one right there. There's probably a third one lurking about somewhere that uh, I just can't see yet. Included by some of those uh, rocks and whatnot. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be another one out there with that group. We'll just steer. We'll just steer clear of them. I'm just gonna shoot wide out here, and uh, I like traveling on the wide open ice. It's a lot, uh, lot safer, especially in crystal clear weather like this. All right. So we're just gonna point basically towards Jackrabbit Island, and shoot the gap between that wolf, that. I think that's a wolf, and those two wolves that I pointed out just a second ago. Where's your buddy at? You know there's got to be a third around. They're pretty far away, so we should be fine in both accounts. Could go over there and check that out, but again, like I said, we're to the point where I really can't pick up a whole heck of a lot more. So This is definitely one of my favorite places to come and set up. But I'm not going to do it this time since we did it last in the last series. We set up over right there. That was base camp. Uh, but it's a really good place. If you guys are new to the game and you're looking for a good place to set up, it's not bad. You got everything. You got ice. You got fishing. You got a bear that comes through the area. You got wolves and deer that are real easy to shoot. And then if you don't bring them down with your first shot, typically they drop somewhere out here on the ice and... It helps. It well, it increases the chances of them dropping in wide open territory and makes it way easier for you to find them. You have uh, an indoor workshop over there at the gas station. You have an outdoor one if you are worried about the cabin fever back here. Um, it should. This is just a good area. I like it. If you need a forge, you only have to go like one transition zone over and through like a cave. And then you're there at the at the Riken. So I think we're clear of those two wolves. I'm just going to start working this way. I will check these uh, little fishing huts. Basically looking for bullets. If there's anything heavy, I'm not going to pick it up. I'll, I'll get it on the return trip. But if I find bullets or something really small, maybe I can get some food to eat and just eat it on the on the way. That's fine. Something to eat or drink. Alright, we'll tuck that away. Also, you get, um, you can comb the shore here, the water, with the water's edge up here, for things that wash up. So, I never do that. Uh, beach combing, or whatever they call it. It's not really a beach, but, ah, here we go. Dog food, if it's in decent shape. Yeah, we're just gonna eat it. So, that was the plan. If I find something worthwhile, we'll just eat it. Be done with it. I think it actually keeps the can, so I need to remember to throw away the cans. Otherwise, I want to have like, you know, 15 cans. Eh, here we go. Revolver ammo. That's. I was expecting one round, but let's see what we got here. I'm just curious. Now, nope, leave that behind. We'll take that. They're too rare. I have a bad habit of wanting to collect everything. It's a dangerous, dangerous road. Let me drop some of these cans here. Actually, you know what, we'll drop them in the next one, because odds are, if I'm on this map and I want to start a fire, 
it's probably going to be in the next one. And I might need the can there for water boiling purposes. So I, I don't think I've ever set up a fire here. So I'll just sit, I'll just drop the cans over here if I have more than... I know I got one, but I have some cans. The, now there is a wolf that likes to be... Hey, there's a new wolf that likes to patrol this area right over here. I don't know if he's new or not, but... I've had to deal with him before in the last series. I think they realized how safe and nice this little area was, except for the bear that would occasionally come through. But once you were aware of the bear, you knew how to keep an eye out for him. So you knew how to steer clear or engage safely. But then they threw in this wolf because I think they thought, oh, well, these guys are just having it too good over here. Oh, thank gosh. I'm, I'm like, grateful that it's, uh, that it's empty. I don't like that. In case I run into the bear. Let's see if I can... Look here, my cans. Why isn't my tin can in my tin can? Look at that. It looks like a tin can. It should be here. Oh. Is this the one I can't... I can't eat any more of this? Am I full? Oh. I guess it was just left over. Okay, that's interesting. You would think the tin, can, tin cans would be there. So I have like four of those. So we're just going to drop all these. Don't need any more. So we'll just leave them there. It's not going to make a... Little beans difference. Still a little heavy here. Hmm. Charcoal. I guess we could use that. Who cares? Okay, there we go. Wow. <laughs> Frozen corpse. <gasps> the Orient myself. It's going to be right over here, isn't it? Yeah, it's the one that you're talking about. Oh, man. I want to avoid those cabins. Because I know I'll want to collect everything. I'll, I'll walk out of that cabin area weighing 75 kilograms. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid loot now. I was kind of glad when that that drawer was set empty. I'm not even going to bother with the dude up here. I'll leave that for another day. Alright. I'm going to be a little re ready here. This place I'm not... used to feel warm and fuzzy walking through this, this area. I don't feel like that anymore. Alright, we got a wolf ahead of us right there, I think. Yeah, make that two. Two wolves. So, we're gonna turn right and get over to the road. Oh, and he's gonna turn right as well. Okay. Get. Well, it was his left, but my right. Up to 97 rounds. Wow. Well, 90, actually, yeah. 97, we're at 103 rounds. That's not too bad. It's more than I carry carry uh, on duty. Wait a minute, let me think. No, I do have a pack with extra mags. Eh, I'm probably close to that. I've never actually counted all my rounds. My cruiser. I keep my... Apparently I keep myself more, more entertained than needing to do that. I know I got plenty. talking about pistol rounds too. I mean, I, there's six in the shotgun and then you got like 30 in the rifle plus another, oh, I got another two more mags of rifle sets, so like 90 there plus another four or five mags. Is this guy coming really close to, the, no, he's not. If I was stinky, they'd be all over me, but I was wondering if he was going to come right up here onto the road, but I think they stay pretty much on the ice. All right. They are talkative today, aren't they? Oh, bear, 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 bear. Um, hmm, this is interesting. 
Yep, there's a bear. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going, uh... Hey, guys, what do you say, uh... What do you say you guys want to go uh, check out the, uh... You guys want to go, go check out the, uh... He sounds angry. Uh, I can't run, bear. Are you charging me? No, he's not. He's not that... Let's see, he's all right. He's all right. He doesn't mean it. I'm going to let him... Go ahead and go wherever he hell, wherever the hell he wants to go. Is he? I think he's kind of pissed. Um. Hmm. Well, it's starting to get dark. I think maybe uh, the cabin. Why am I now? I'm walking into a, a wind, slowing me down. But luckily, the bear's turned off, so he's no longer interested in me. I'm going to go ahead and stay in the cabin here for the night. I wanted to get further along. I was hoping to do a moose hunt in this episode, but I think we're going to have to hang out here for the night, and then hopefully we just make it to Mystery Lake. Of course, we're only at about the halfway mark, so maybe we will. I don't know. Oh, I'm glad I wasn't a little bit faster. I ought to come around that corner. And it would have been a lot closer. It would have been more like the uh, the wolf encounter, my first wolf encounter. That's about how close we would have ended up being had I been a few steps faster. So that kind of worked out good. He was not happy to see me. And uh, this wind is really slowing me down, so I'm just going to get up in here. He's coming this way. Where'd he go? He's back there. Hmm. All right. I'm going to get up here if I can. There we go. Where the hell did he go? He does walk right through this, right in front of these cabins. But he's not that fast. So of course, I'm moving slow. There's your workbench. If you ever need it. I'm going to check that before I leave, though. There's probably something decent nearby it. He's got me a little nervous. He ghosted on me. All right, let me get into my favorite, my favorite cabin. We're not hot at all. Hmm. All right, well, let's head inside. I'm worried that I'm starting to get too tired and I'm, I'm carrying all this weight. It won't take me long to get to the point where I'm Barely moving. No, no pun intended. I didn't even think about how I said that. Man, she's already yawning, so. No, I'm not taking that. Charcoal. Are you kidding me? Let's drop that. Um, let's see here. I could maybe do some crafting, I guess. Or some reading. That's always an option. Let's do reading. Let's read, because maybe we can get rid of one of these books. See which book I'm into. Uh, not that one. I don't think this one. That's 25 hours. Jeez. Is it this one? Maybe it's stay on target. Nope. Nope. I think maybe... Maybe we haven't started any of these. Maybe we just finished the last one. During our last session. I want to do this one. Because cooking's the most important thing. So. Let's do a... Uh, check here. Get a drink. Oh, not coffee. Okay, I didn't mean to drink coffee, but apparently I need to make some water. There's probably going to be a bear passing by here soon. I don't want to do that. And I dropped all my cans back there. All right. I need some wood. Let me see. I know that there's some reclaimed wood in here. I just need it for to make it through the night. And to be, you know. There's some reclaiming wood here somewhere there it is. Yeah, I just need to make it through the night. Fifteen minutes. Let's break that down, grab another reclaimed wood. There'll probably be a piece of wood inside the uh inside the uh fishing hut. I'm gonna go cook water in there. Let me get my rifle out. Just in case. Uh, oh, you can't be bored. Okay. 
where he went. Can't run. Can't run, so I gotta be careful. Could drop a lot. You know what? I'm gonna drop some stuff here. Let's do that. That makes sense, wouldn't it? Especially since I'm gonna be picking up water. Alright, let's just drop some junk. Yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. Um, I, may, I might actually need <laughs> the distress pistol. Don't need that. Don't need this right now. Don't need this. Uh, don't need those. Or that. Or that. Or that. Don't need or that. Oh my god, I gotta pick all those up. Oh, that's gonna be a nightmare. Oh my gosh. I should have done that in the... Ugh. Okay. Anyway, I'll do that off-camera, guys. I didn't even think about that. 97 rounds loose. I was thinking, like, oh, it's going to put it in a box for me. Nope. Nope. And I'll keep that to read. Don't need this. Don't need that. Yeah, we're, we're in pretty good shape now. Okay, good. Let's move. In case we need to run, we can run. I know there's more stuff I can drop, but I just wanted to get to the point where I could actually move faster. Still slightly overweight, but that's okay. 97 rounds or whatever. <laughs> Loose ammo to pick up. Ugh. F my life. My TLD life. Ugh. Okay. Well, I know I knew I was going to need those cans sooner or later. I didn't expect to need it right now, but hey. Here we are. This is the situation. This is the hand we were dealt. I might go over here and grab one of these. There's some wood I can chop up right there. And we got ourselves some cedar wood there. Yeah, we're gonna have we're gonna have enough to have ourselves a good little gotta be a little careful about the bear though. Is he still, is that him moving right there? Wait a minute. Nope, that's just a rock. Okay. So when I was wa walking, it made that rock look like I, it was walking. Alright, let's let's do this. Get low. Cedar limb, sure. See, look, the weather's good. The temperature's not bad at all. It's starting to get nasty out here, though. Straight nasty. All right, that should be enough for us to have plenty of water for the night. What is it? Three reclaimed wood and three cedar from there, and then one in here. Yeah, we should be fine. Too bad I only have... Ugh. I kind of want to use a campfire because you get two cooking spots. The only problem is it's windy and it's going to blow out. I know it will because it always does for me. So I'm just going to play it safe and use this fire right here. And we'll just do one little thing at a time. Yeah, you know, we'll be all right. Let's not do it that way. Let's do it the proper way. Don't need tinder anymore, so at least we have that going for us. Sure. Use the wood matches. What do I care? All right. Uh, let's not do that. Let's use our torch. Let's start up this fire. The sun is setting. It's going to get a lot colder soon. We got it. First try. Not bad. We're getting better at this. We might, we might learn how to survive yet, folks. We might be able to do it one of these days. Let's see here. Let's get rid of this crap wood. There we go. Don't want to throw those away. I forgot to drop those. I thought I dropped those. Oh, huh. okay. So, alright, let's get a water going here. Yeah, it's not going to be bad. That won't be bad. I wish I could read... Uh, in 30, like 30 minute increments, you know? Because that would be perfect for a little can of water. But, can't. It's moving quick too, isn't it? Let's see how we're doing with our clothes. Maybe I can mend something small. 57. We're going to need to get the bear pelt. But I don't want to do it here. I want to do it on Mystery Lake where I can wait for it to cure and I don't have to travel too far to get it back. What's this to repair? 27 minutes? Ooh, I'm going to do that with my next batch of water. 
Hey, you know what? I think this would work out perfect, actually. Let's do that right now. That'd be really close. There we go. Wasn't too bad. Let's drink up all this. Half liter. And let's get ourselves some more water. And I want to repair my other pair of pants. Because they were in about the same state of condition. Starting to get sleepy here. What? Oh, it failed. I'm like, what happened? I'm not used to failing it. There we go. That one took a little longer because I failed it the first time, so it cut into my time a little bit there. But now, at least we have a half, you know, half a liter. Alright, what else can we do? Let's see, what else? The toque? I say yes, 27 minutes, perfect. If I can't read, I'll repair. Oh, it's four minutes until boiled, so... We were actually too quick with our repair. I keep wanting to pick, peek out here, see what the bear's out here. This uh, snow is not helping at all, making it much more difficult to see. Come on, baby. There we go. And I think we'll do we at? one liter. I think we'll get ourselves two liters of, of water. That should be plenty for tonight. And we can, if we need to boil more on our travels. I'll take one of these with with us. I could always create one by eating. Ooh, that's kind of scary. I don't know if I would want to eat that stuff just for the can. But it is time to eat anyway, so let's go ahead and do that while we're waiting. Of course, if I'm going to eat, now would be the time to do it just before bedtime. So I'm probably going to actually save these. I'll eat these just before bedtime. We don't have to worry about recovering any condition. If we do get sick, you know, 10 hours, pop a couple pills, and we'll be fine in the morning. Nothing will be lost. Let me see. Is there anything else? The wool wraps, or the ear wraps. Those are pretty nice. 27 on this? Yes. Everything's 27. That's small, it seems like. Eh, I'm not going to repair anything. That's 82. These are going to take longer to repair. An hour and 21 minutes. And it takes an entire deer hide and a cured gut. Which we have, but... I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to use it for the pants. So. All right. Three minutes until melted. So we're just killing time here right now. And there we go. One and a half liters. All right. One more and I'll repair the wool wraps. Or the wool wraps. The ear wraps. While we, uh, while we wait. Hopefully. Hopefully I get it. Plus I'm getting rid of some cloth. As far as weight goes. I don't know. I mean, I'm putting it on clothes that I'm wearing, so I don't know how I'm getting rid of it, but I am. Man, I'll rest soon. According to the mechanics, I am. Alright, there we go. It's new. Look at that. 100 percenters. Let's see how our temperature's doing here with our clothing. 21, 20 degree warmth bonus. Windproof bonus. Nice. Not bad. Oh, I took some nasty water. I took some nasty water. Do I need to, do I need to redo it all? Oh, my fire went out. Dang it. Dang you, nasty water. I guess we're leaving behind the nasty water because I've... What the... Oh, it's the owl. <laughs> All right. I'm going to leave behind the nasty water since I uh, screwed up and forgot about looking at my fire time. I should have listened to you guys yelling at the screen. But, uh, yeah, I chose to ignore you. Take one of these. Because if I do another one in... Uh, Ravine, I'll probably be doing a campfire one, and I'll need two spots. I'll have two cooking spots available. So, I think we're going to sleep here tonight, obviously. We're really tired. Uh, that was probably the most unnecessary and obvious thing I've ever said. But, yeah, we'll sleep here tonight and uh, get well rested. I'm going to eat some of those sketchy, sketchy beans and see... If I get food poisoned for the night, let's go see. Let's see what happens. Let's eat some sketchy food, folks. Let's do it. This one's for dinner. All right. Okay, folks. Look, I'm going to actually go into the main food menu. Let's see if there's anything even sketchier. 
That looks even more terrifying. Well, let's start with the beef jerky. Okay, let's try some of these banged up beans. Yum, yum, yum. Waiting for it to groan. Oh, I feel so sick. No? Really? And that was it. I must be totally full. I am full of nasty food. All right, we're down to the leader. All right, well, that looks pretty good to me. Um, all we need to do is get some rest. Looking here at the clock, this seems like a good place to leave off. I expected to make it much further, but uh, that was a pretty decent episode. We got lots of more ammo. We killed a couple wolves. Oh, I killed one, but I'm pretty sure we killed the other one too. Uh, almost got eaten by a bear. Dodged some other wolves. I let a fire burn out. It's good times. And we're in a familiar bed, so. All right, let's get some sleep, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I do greatly appreciate it. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.